Your doctor might order genetic testing for celiac disease. Two tests are done, HLA-DQ2 and HLA-DQ8. These tests are positive in 99% of patients with celiac disease, but they are also positive in up to 40% of the general population. So having a positive genetic testing does not necessarily mean that you have celiac disease. On the other hand, if the genetic testing is negative, then you very likely do not have celiac disease. So let's say you have a positive genetic testing. Where do you go from there? One thing your physician might do is continue to follow you and order the serology testing or an upper endoscopy if you develop symptoms of celiac disease. So if you have a positive genetic test, it does not necessarily mean that you have celiac disease or you will develop celiac disease. So the genetic testing should be taken into context. If you have a family history of celiac disease or if you have symptoms of celiac disease, then a positive genetic testing would mean that you have celiac disease. If you don't have a family history or you don't have symptoms of celiac disease, your doctor will choose to follow you. If you develop symptoms of celiac disease, then serology or upper endoscopy with biopsy will be repeated.